Hello traders and welcome back to my YouTube channel, IPDA Trader. Now today's video is going to be something a little bit more special because um, we're not going to be focusing on any sort of technical analysis, understanding or smart money concepts, anything of that sort. We're just simply going to be talking about news, right? I don't intend to make this video too long. I'm just simply going to be going over um, how I use news, what do I really use it for, and what role does it play in my trading because many 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 of you have actually asked me that question quite frequently in terms of once again how does news actually play a role in your trading which is actually a very interesting question it is something that you should consider in my opinion and this is exactly what we're going to be going um over today right we're going to be focusing on news how to use it how do i use it and what do i think of it right so um, if this sounds like something you want to learn today, make sure you stick to the entire video because once again, I'm going to be trying my best to um, keep this video short and sweet so that I can provide you with some valuable information. So with all that being said, guys, let's actually get started with today's video. <laughs> So traders, for this particular video, we're not going to be using the whiteboard. I'm just simply going to be talking about some stuff. We have gold on the 12 hour in the background, nothing um, too interesting to focus over here. And as we said before, let's actually move to a, a blank space and we're going to be talking about news, right? Because um, I do see that many, many traders, especially smart money traders, ignore um, the new side of things which is actually a big mistake if my in my opinion right because news actually have a very big impact in the market right and if you actually backtest um let's say let's use as an example nfp or cpi things of that nature you will see that those news releases and data economic data will have a impact on whatever currency or commodity or whatever it is that you're trying to trade right so you you indeed need to be paying attention to those you cannot just simply go into the market and completely ignore it because if you're not aware of those when those come around you will get hit by it i can guarantee you that i've been there i've been done that you have to pay attention to news you have to be looking at some sort of um news calendar once again, where, wherever that is for X Factory or my FX book um, or daily FX, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you have to have some sort of news that's going to help you because many times there's going to be um, breaking news that's going to rock the market either up or down. And other times you will have scheduled news that when they do release, you will see a very big impact in whatever market it is that you're trying to trade right and let's actually talk about some of the reasons on on why you should be paying attention to news and tracking them right and we're going to be getting into a little bit more detail in a second but for now just bear with me here we're going to be listing some things out let's say over here why you should be aware of news right we're going to be going over some stuff right so the very first reason, which is actually a very big part of actually tracking news, is the fact that um, there is specific scenarios where uh, certain pairs are not going to move unless, um, until, sorry, that um, news report or economic data is out, right? And you will see that. You will see price ranging. Right, let's say as an example, let me get that. Um, let's say we have a range in market of this sort, and you know we have news at let's say 3 p.m. Right, and and now it's come to 3 p.m. and all of a sudden you get a move up. Right, and you wonder why did this happen at 3 p.m. And once again, that's um, going all the way back to actually tracking news because many many times what will happen is that price will not move until that economic data or news report is actually out right because institutions are just like you if you don't know where the market is going you're not going to be trading it right that's very straightforward very easy to understand well 
um, smart money traders in terms of um, the guys that actually run the algorithms, they're just like you. If there is a big, um, big news that's going to be coming out, then if there is some sort of, um, let's say, uncertainty, then they're not going to be placing any positions. They're just going to be waiting just like you because they don't want to put their money at, ri at risk when they don't know what um, the economic data is going to be actually saying right so let's list the first idea over here which we um, just went over price may not move until um, let's do until certain news or data is out right this is very important as an example if you come to the charts and you don't see price moving and you know that um, there's CPI numbers for the USD at 230, then you know that volatility might pick up at that time and that you may not want to be trading until that happens because essentially if you try and do that, what you're going to end up doing is getting stuck in a range in market, right? So you have to be waiting for those news if the market is ranging, right? As an example, on NFP Fridays, USD pairs tend to range quite a bit until that is out because that's a very important news report and news figure. So once again, they're just like you. They have to know what the figure is going to be if they're actually going to be trying and move price in a certain direction. Right? So completely ignoring fundamentals is just the wrong approach in my opinion but once again you're free to do whatever you want i'm just once again in this video providing you with how i view it right so um this actually brings me to my topic number two which is obviously that um you can try and time volatility right if i set up is lining up and let's say let's draw an example over here very roughly this is your poi bearish block, whatever it may be. Sorry for that, guys. I just had a call. Had to quickly stop the recording. But once again, um, we're talking about a bearish example over here and trying to time volatility, right? So if I set up this line up, right? Let's say as an example, you have news at 2.30 and right at 2.29, as an example, price hits your block right and before that all price had been doing is range well then th this is in my experience a very good opportunity for you to try and take advantage because if volatility was not there to be found before and you have a big impact news and you're now tapping in into a block then you know that this is the setup that you want to take because price did not move before price is moving now and now we have volatility which is what you want you don't want to be trading a market that's not moving you want to be trading the markets when there's actually some volume and momentum to be found right it's, it's just very important many people do it um, um don't do a good job when it comes to timing volatility which is something that you actually have to look for so um we're gonna be adding this uh this information over here you can time volatility volatility um, volatility whatever it may be with scheduled news right it's very important that you pay attention to that and for that reason is why you need to have some page like the one i have open over here which is forex factory it's going to allow you to know when certain reports are coming out and it's going to help you with that right so in reference to point number two over here, then now you know when you should not be trading, right? If a POI is getting hit and um, sure, it's part of your plan, you want to monitor that or take a risk entry or whatever, then that's fine. But if you don't see momentum or volume or volatility coming into your block, then you might just get stuck in a position, which once again could eventually work out or could eventually... Um, go the other way when volume and volatility actually picks up when uh, which usually comes from certain news right so it's very important to understand that it's a very important piece to your trading in my opinion you have to know when it's nfp when is it um, cpi 
ADP, th things of that nature, right? Especially for the pairs that you're trading, right? And when I say this, I don't mean you need to be a absolutely fundamentals expert and know everything about the fundamentals, but you have to have some sort of idea in terms of how's the economy doing of the pair that I'm actually trying to trade. Are things going well? Um, do we have any crisis, any war, right? And you saw that with gold when Ukraine and Russia tensions were very um, relevant in terms of um, they were new, um, things were starting to heat up, things like that. You can see what gold did. It just pumped all the way up and that's due to the fundamentals. So if there's anyone out there telling you that, hey, just ignore fundamentals, they, they're not relevant, you should probably not trust them at all right and when i say once again that you have to try these fundamentals ideas i'm not saying that you need to be an expert right because otherwise you might as well just get a job as an economist and avoid trading you don't need to know everything you just need to have some sort of information when is this coming out what does this mean how is this going to influence my pair right so remember when is it coming out what is actually coming out um, coming out and how is that going to impact how is that going to impact the market i am trying to trade keeping those ideas in mind when timing your volatility in relation to your news will provide you with a leg up it's gonna definitely help help you it's not gonna hurt you at all right so keep those ideas in mind it is a big part of trading these markets that you see over here are actually influenced by fundamentals right so um that's essentially most of the things that i wanted to cover you really need to stay on top of what's fundamentally happening with the pairs that you trade or whatever assets you're trying to trade it's gonna help you once again right do not ignore the news institutions are once again just like us if important data is going to be released and they have some sort of uncertainty the market won't move until that information is actually out for you to trade right it's very very crucial to your trading one last piece of advice i will give you is that sometimes news get actually priced in before the event happen right if the people that actually control and manipulate the, these markets have the information beforehand and they know what they exactly want to do with the market, then they will move that in anticipation to NFP figures, CPI data, ADP, right? Retail sales, things like that. So sometimes the price, I'm sorry, the markets actually price in the information before it's actually out. It is something that you also have to keep in mind. So um, with all that being said, guys, once again, I didn't want to make this video too long. Just to summarize quickly over here what we went through, you have to have some sort of um, website or whatever you use to actually um, be on top of news, right? What, when is a particular thing coming out? What is actually coming out and how is that going to impact the market that I'm trying to trade? Ask yourself these questions when you're looking at your new site. It is something that will benefit you, right? Now, reasons why you should be aware of news. Once again, price may not move until certain news or data is out and you can try and time volatility with scheduled news. These are the main things that I use um, economic data for, right? I don't go too in depth in them and people in the mentorship know that because for me and the way that I trade, there's no point. I just want to know if there's something that's going to be coming out, when is it going to be released and how is that going to impact my market? And once again, with the last question over here, I am making a guess. I don't know with a 100% guarantee how is a particular news report going to impact my market. But based on, once again, the timing and the price action that I'm seeing, it's going to provide me with a little bit of a blueprint. So with all that information being said, um, thank you very much for actually watching the video. If you made it through the entire video, I appreciate it a lot. 
Um, I hope you actually learned something today. Um, I did try my best in covering this topic. So yeah, with all that being said, guys, feel free to drop video suggestions in the comment sections below. I will gladly skim through that. No problem at all. We can discuss some ideas. I can try and see what, um, what else I can do for you in terms of videos and things like that. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to actually drop a like, comment, whatever it may be. Remember the mentorship link is in the description below. You will find access over there. And I will speak to you guys very soon. Take care, everybody.